All right, so here is my film review for Shattered Glass. And uh, honestly, going into the movie, like reading the pre-film briefing, I didn't have a ton of expectations. I actually had kind of uh, lower expectations going into it because I didn't, I just didn't think it'd be uh, very good at all. But honestly, like, I mean, it wasn't our best movie, but also it wasn't our worst that we've watched. I didn't think it was um, that bad, but it kind of starts from the beginning when Stephen Glass is talking about how a lot of journalists have big egos. They only care about themselves. They doesn't matter what they put out there. If they get the credit, that's all that matters. And that was kind of like a attention getting uh, beginning for me because I was like, huh? Because I knew pre film briefing that it was about him making makeup or him creating made up stories throughout kind of the whole movie. Uh, I think it said 27 of his 41 total were either made up or uh, a lot of missing pieces to it. But really, I I mean, I thought it was interesting. Stephen Glass would always kind of make the, or question, say things like, are you mad at me to anyone he ever talked to? Or he'd apologize for everything. And he would kind of just get pushed around a lot because I know he was only, I think, 24 so people either didn't take him seriously or they just felt bad for him. And a lot of people felt bad. They kept they kept uh, defending him, even though he's making these made-up stories and Chuck Lane is saying he's got to go. And people are still defending the fact that he's young, like young people make mistakes. But when you make it more than half the time, there's issues with that. But he seemed like a likable guy. I mean, he said some interesting things throughout the movie, like, when he talked about the guy from, I think that was it New York Times or Washington Post that stuck his tongue down his throat. Like, I, I, that was confusing to me, but he, I don't know, there's just a lot of weird things that happened throughout the movie, but he'd always say sorry. I always asked if people were mad at him. Um, got defended by everybody for whatever reason. Uh, and then Chuck Lane kind of finally called him out on everything. And they got into that yelling match um, after Stephen Glass almost hit that car at the stop sign and they pulled over and Chuck Lane was just kind of saying it's going to be all right this and that but then he kind of goes and says he's got to go which I don't blame him like I don't know how he was defended by so many people maybe just because he's a likable guy had that party towards the beginning of the movie and like but he just did so many things like in journalism that you can't accept the fact that he cheated his way through pretty much like you can't make the mistake that he's young and this not anymore when you're working for a new republic or any type of newspaper that has that big of say alignment of who they are then you can't be making mistakes like that so i don't know i just i thought it was kind of a good fine movie though because i was like wondering like who's finally gonna like not defend this dude and call him out on things that he he's done wrong and finally chuck lane had about had it and uh probably a good thing that he did and stephen glass i don't know he's kind of just down about everything just was insecure about a lot of things and it kind of makes sense like if he was cheating lost the number from the guy in nevada uh, his notes were all skewed i mean there's just a lot of weird issues going on weird turning points but i thought it made the movie interesting because i was just waiting for someone to finally call him out and they did but yeah you can't cheat through journalism i mean you're gonna get caught so i don't know i didn't think it was a bad movie but that's pretty much my review and my summary